All right, it's been five seconds since I did the uh, show video. So now we're going to come back in here and I'm going to reveal these to you. We're going to make it short and sweet, we're running out of time. Got, a little, got an errand to run, but um, this is the 1908 uh, Indian Head. My granddad's going to show you coming to VGA. Pleased with that. It's been in the family for a long time. My granddad's coin. And uh, he used to pay me to uh, look for coins for him in my change. And whenever I came up with anything like that, he'd give me a dollar for a penny. And I just thought that was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> and I turned it into a money-making business. I used to go to the stores and be like, hey, you have any of these pennies, the weedy pennies? He used to give me a, a quarter for every weedy. And then every two weeks when they come over and hang out, I'd show him my loot and he'd laugh and laugh and laugh and I ended up getting a $20 bill out of it. So I got the biggest kick out of it. That's, and now here I am sharing these coins with you good people. <laughs> All right, so here's the uh, 1903. Let's zoom in. Man, isn't that a beauty? Look at that, just golden patina. You know, I even weighed this thinking maybe it was gold because there were some, you know, I'm kidding. Didn't do that. But anyway, I was going off on a tangent. Anyway, it's a 1903. I thought it was, I, well, I knew it was MS. I know the grade, so I'm just going to share it with y'all. This is an MS 63 red brown. I was a little disappointed when I saw it. I thought it would come back as a 64, but I will take a 63. Now, keep in mind, I spent $20 on this coin. And I already looked it up, and uh, it's it's a uh, hundred dollar coin. All right, and the last one is this twenty four piece dollar, and uh, you know we got a good look at it, and I don't believe that this is a uh, an MS coin. I have it at an AU fifty five. So let's go ahead and do the reveal. And it was a 58. So a little bit better than I thought. And that's fine. Uh, I spent $30 on this coin. So now I want to show you how to look it up. Um, here's a tool I use all the time to look up coin values. And I use a number of sources. And then I just kind of balance it out. I throw out the high. I throw out the low. And, and you know, you analyze and things like that. But I... I want to make sure I don't overpay. Let me walk you through that if you don't mind. So this is the uh, PCGS website. Let me open up another tab. I actually have it saved right there. And I go here. And then I go to price guide. And then I come down and it shows you the types of coins. And I slide down to... Uh, East dollar. And that one was a 24 plane, an AU58 condition. So you come out here, the it's up there at the top. So they give you a 55 and a 60 on the 24. Back up a little bit. There we go. So there it is, and the 55 is 42, and then the 60 is 45. So this one's a 58, so we'll call it a even split, and we'll call it um, 43.50. That's what it's worth. So after the grading, um, I'm in the coin for a dollar more than, um, than I paid, and that's fine. And then it shows you how much they're worth out here. So it's a good source. I didn't know if y'all knew that. And then also, another thing I want to show y'all is how to get better at this off. If you wanted to, like, look at your own coins, you just go to the photo grade and then um, choose dollars. That. And then uh, come down here and choose uh, Morgan Dollar. 
And then now you've got renditions of these coins. And when you're looking at your own, you can kind of compare to these. And that's how you come up with grades. So this is how you practice, folks. And I wasn't any good at it a couple months ago. But um, I'm getting real good at it now. Usually within a grade or two. Uh, which is not bad. Sometimes I miss the, the state of the coin. Like uh, if it's MS or AU. You know, when it's on the cusp. Emotion comes in and I might overdo it. <clears throat> but I've noticed that uh, I'm a chronic undergrader. Uh, so I need to study a little bit more about uh, each coin and what they're looking for. And PCGS also has like videos on YouTube where a professional grader gives you a 45 minute uh, presentation on what they're looking for and how to grade a coin. It's very helpful. And when I actually watch that and learn what they're looking for, I, uh, I got a lot better very quickly. So how to judge what they're uh, looking for. It's important to know this stuff. It's not an IQ test. Um, and, the, and the reason being is, you know, I mean, we work hard for money, so we we want to make sure we get a fair price. And we don't mind, you know us, we don't mind paying for it, what it's worth. Getting a little bit better deal would be great. But, you know, we realize coins are hot right now, and um, uh, there's a little bit of a premium, I guess you could say. But I look to avoid that. So anyway, I hope uh, y'all found that as helpful. And I hope you enjoyed the pennies, especially this one. Um, means something to me. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.